guys welcome to another episode of boost developments and as you can see i'm back in the shed um basically what i'm going to do today is on this video is i'm going to strip down the other k series engine i've got <clears throat> it's a k20a2 i want to strip it down for the crank and a couple of other bits ready to build the new engine so i'm basically going to take all the stuff out of this one i need send it for machining um and then we can actually start once obviously the machine is back we can i'd have everything to build the engine um obviously i've got to wait for the the crank and that stuff to come back so that i know sort of um if the crank's all good and that and obviously the machinist can tell me what size bearings to get obviously he will measure it so and obviously he's measuring the balls of the css block to make sure there's no um distortion due to css so um yeah basically this video is just going to be a bit of a boring video of me dismantling a k20a2 but i'm going to get the whole process all on the channel for you um as obviously it's still part of the ep3 because so i'm probably going to chuck it in the ep3 um i will have another video on the ep3 soon but i've had a lot going on so and i'm not doing nothing today so i'm going to jump on the engine and crack on there
guys while I'm standing I'm currently holding the engine up um, I'm going to stop with the time that's there obviously you can see I'm most of the way through it now it's going to take the head off and the bottom end apart they left the oil in it when they sold me the case for it, which is fair enough to preserve the engine I forgot about taking it out so I'm now draining it um, but just have a look how good this head is on this engine I'm not touching I just took the, the rubber cover off look how clean it is wow Sparkling, absolutely clean as anything, apart from obviously this. But look inside, oh. shocked. All right, guys, just had a, a lunch break. Um, it's absolutely Baltic out here, I think it's about six degrees. Um, but yeah, I've got the whole engine completely dismantled. Um, and I want to show you the absolute mess I've made all over the place. You ready? So yeah, it's completely dismantled. There is bits absolutely everywhere. So, but I've got the crank out, which is the main thing I wanted. I've got to get the squirters, yep. Yeah. Um, before we get the squirters for the new block. Um, but yeah, there was nothing wrong with it, but it was a full working case swap that I had. A box and everything, as you see. Um, and yeah, I just basically took it apart to get all the bits I need for the new 800 horsepower build. I obviously need the crank over there. I need other bits. The alternator started to play up on the EP3, so I can use that too. Um, and you see how good condition it was, so I'm now going to um, try to get anything, I'm getting anything bagged. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the little... Um, the little montage of me oh I'm forgetting time lapse that's it time lapse brain's working now I um, hope you enjoyed a little time lapse of me taking the engine apart of what I got of it um, yeah so obviously this is sort of for the EP3 really obviously and the engine build um, I think due to the EP3 being together and um, sort of ready to run really no problems 
and obviously it being just an engine swap i am going to not put the ej9 k swap on hold but um i was going to try and bang it out and be ready for march with the but i said i've got a lot of work come on um health is all over the place at the moment um and obviously i'm still trying to shift that eg because i haven't done space uh, but yeah, so that's why the EJ9 is going to be put on, not hold, but I'm just going to do bits of it when I can do it really. So the plan is to build the engine, the big power engine, and then it's going to go in the EP3, I think. So Craig's going to help me do the engine swap. Um, and then I'm looking for another gearbox at the moment. I know I was waiting for gears coming, but um, they said there's going to be a, a wait on them again because of a fourth gear um, that's not in stock or something like that. So yeah, it's a bit annoying, but um, I've got something else lined up. I've got a new diff. Um, big shout out to XO Racing for that. I've got a M Factory race pack diff. Unfortunately, I didn't bring down the unit today because it is in the Beamer, um, and I brought the EP3 to the unit. Um, but yeah, I've got an M Factory diff that will fit the shafts this time. So yeah, so obviously this one, I don't think this one can take as much power as the other one, but we'll see. Um, so yeah basically that's that's really it so anyway is is sort of where i'm at so obviously getting ready for the build um getting ready to do a little bit of porting on the head and obviously remove I've got the valve removal tools sort of everything over here dremels in that box um yeah so i'm gonna port and polish this head um obviously get these get the cams in um and they're not here yet but basic main main focus at the moment is on getting his head ready to send away and then I can send a crank and all the sort of stuff to the machine shop. Um the head will be going as well to be flow tested and while it's there I'm gonna let the machine shop lap the valves in and basically do all that sort of stuff. Um But yeah the car's here ready. So I mean drove it here, never skipped a beat at all. Um Oh, I'm lying actually. I think the alternator's on its way out. Um, the battery light keeps flashing. It's either a loose connection or the alternator light, um, or the alternator's going, sorry. Uh, it keeps flashing, so, but I've got another alternator down there. Um, there's the rest of the engine I'll be building, like the, sort of like obviously the side case and that from the new block. So, yeah, progress is gonna start happening. I've been slacking because I've been doing other jobs and things like that, and obviously personal life. But you can see I'm I mean business guys. I've got everything I need in here. Um got my setup quite well in here now. This is really good. Got boxes over there, I've got diffs, I've got shafts, I've got everything I sort of need. Um and yeah. Got plans for them over there to go on here. I think you can sort of guess what plans I've got. But you'll see anyway for the future. So so yeah, that's about it guys to wrap this video up for you. Um, yeah, I'm excited really. It's gonna be a fast car. Um, all I've got to sort of get now, once obviously the engine's built in, is sort of bigger injectors to send it to the moon. As I think, obviously everything else is there. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking for a set of 2000 cc's I reckon, um, or minimum 750, uh, 1750 IDs. So if anyone's got any for sale, drop me a message on here on my Instagram, or drop a comment on here anyway and I'll find out why I get in touch with you and we can sort out a deal um, but yeah hope you enjoyed the little video guys just to keep you updated on what's happening um, and I shall see you again soon remember Boost Developments and Capitals is the discount code for XO Racing so make sure you go give them a check out because they, they didn't even have the diff in stock the other day that I've ordered um, I filled it last Wednesday, he said, oh, we ain't got it in stock, but I, I could try and have it by sort of end of next week for us, that's fine, I'm no rush. Next day, he sent me a picture, when your diff's here, I went, what? And then he sent it out the next day after that, and I had it, that was, I think he sent it out Saturday, and I got it for Monday, so, yeah, yeah I ordered it Wednesday night, he had it for Thursday afternoon, um, or Friday afternoon, I can't remember, and then he sent it out Saturday, and I had it for Monday, so it was a couple of days, and he didn't even have it in stock. Cannot rate them enough, honestly. I, I, I know everyone probably thinking, oh, I'm licking their bum because they're my sponsor. Not at all. I will, honestly, even if they want my sponsor, now I know their, their delivery time and things like that. I'll always use Exo Racing. I promise you that they are 
so far they've not literally gone wrong at all. They've been 100% spot on. Um, timing's been immaculate. Pricing's been brilliant. So honestly, I can't rate them enough. Make sure you check them out, guys. Um, anyway, enough rambling. Like, subscribe, share. Um, we're on the way to that thousand mark. Eight, eight fifty subs now. So been fighting to get there for so long. You know how slow the channel's been going, but I mean, I ain't doing it to. Um, get to a thousand so i'm doing it because i enjoy it i'm going to be doing this regardless whether i film it or not i just thought i'd film it and make some content for you guys anyway so i ain't doing it just for youtube i'm doing it because i'm going to be doing it that's what i do anyway uh, for a living i love doing it so yeah so like subscribe share again make sure we get this channel to a thousand i want to be at a thousand by christmas come on guys we can push it out there see you soon guys